Gen Z is embracing blue collar jobs and they're telling people all about it on TikTok. ABC's Lionel Moise has more. Welcome back guys to another day in life with a commercial electrician. Lexia Brew is not your typical TikTok influencer. I'm going to show you what happens when a breaker doesn't do its job and it doesn't trip. So it's way worse than just this, but we're going to fix it. We're here to fix it. Instead of makeup tutorials or luxury hauls, she showcases the life of an electrician to her 2.2 million followers. I actually went to school. I went to college for pre-med and then as I was doing pre-med, I was also like doing personal training and then COVID happened and it shut everything down except for essential workers. And at this time I was like doing electrical work and that's kind of when I took over electrical full-time. Born into a family of electricians, Abru began posting videos of her work in 2022. Now she says she gets thousands of messages from viewers saying she made them consider a different career path. There are so many people that comment and say that they like started trades or starting looking into trades because of my videos. Do you guys see what's behind me? New Klein Mod Box component boxes. Abru's path is part of a larger trend with more young people turning to trades driven by competitive salaries and rising college costs. Last year, enrollment in trade-focused community colleges rose 16 percent, and the number of students studying construction trades rose 23 percent. This as the number of students completing undergraduate degrees dropped. As for Brew, she's happy her career path is paving the way for the next generation. You don't just have one route, which is college. You could go to a trade school, you could go to a tech school, you could join a union, you can join an apprenticeship, as opposed to going to college and spending all of this money. When you're first getting out of like an apprenticeship and stuff, you have no debt. You're just stacking money at that point. Lionel Moyes, ABC News, New York.